If you wanna find me, yeah, I'm in the front row With my two tickets, on me, I'm in the front row With the best place to be, yeah, I'm in the front row Best place to be, yeah If you wanna find me, yo, I'm in the front row With my two tickets, on me, I'm in the front row With the best place to be, yeah, I'm in the front row Hotter than a flame, I be in the front row, chilling at a bull game. Yeah, you know what they say when you're having fun, time flies. This is Shereen Ryan with In the Front Row, where you get the best views in sports. This is our episode four, I think, of Zona Sports Central with Lori Burkhardt and Shereen Ryan. I'm Shereen Ryan. And I'm Lori Burkhardt. <laughs> And uh, um, we are so privileged to have with us the Roberts family. Not only do we have Jerry Roberts, we have Jiree Roberts, his brother, and Jerry Roberts, coach Jerry Roberts, their father. We have all three of them. Like, we, we, I, there's a word in Yiddish called kavelling, which means you're, you're very excited. I've been so excited all week to have you three on. Welcome. Well, thank you for having us. We appreciate it. Yo, excited to be here. So um, Cleveland Browns, you guys just went to a game. I, I couldn't stop laughing with the car scene and peaches. Oh man, the Uber. <laughs> man, I was, I was a, that was a tight fit. That, that was the worst Uber ride ever. Jerry, I was expecting like this human, like, um, like awesome corkscrew. Life. Yeah, like corkscrew to come out and get you out of that out of that seat. That was the funniest thing I've ever seen, and and your commentary on it was the was the best. They could have used a plunger and put it on my head to push me up out of that car. <laughs> so, Gary, what was it? What was it like being at your first NFL game? I mean, you've been playing for years, but this was your first NFL game. How, how, what, what did it feel like to you? Did you feel like it was a game you could play or is it a game that you, you didn't recognize? Well, um, you know, it was pretty sad. I didn't get to go. Oh, you didn't go? No, I didn't get to go. I'm, oh, I'm here no. in Tucson. Oh, you're still in Tucson. I forgot yeah, yep. that. Okay, well, Jairi, you went. Did you go? Yeah, yeah, yeah I went. It was, it. It's like, it's weird. It's like different seeing it from like on TV and then in person. They so much bigger and the game go a lot faster in person. Yeah, that's what they it's say. And Jerry, difference. maybe you can contest to this. When you go from high school to college, the game's a lot faster, which is why it's really hard for true freshmen to get on the field because the game's going way faster than they're used to. And, and a lot of times that, and I, hopefully they're doing this more in high school. I don't know, coach, if you coach this, but they do more of a hurry up offense than a than a you know huddle offense. Yeah, we 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 run a hurry um offense at the uh, high school that I coach at. But when you go watch the pros play, that that game was a whole lot faster. You're talking about a whole new scene, a whole new level of style, play everything. So it's it's very 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 exciting to to watch in person and on TV. Great. Jerry, what's it like to be coached by former NFL coaches? I mean, they do you see the plays that they call for you? Do you see those plays on the field in the NFL? Uh yeah, actually. And it's it's kind of crazy to know that we're learning some of the same stuff that we're that, that they're learning. So it's kind of like, you know, if I do go to that next level, it's not gonna be a, a big, you know, a big change as far as playbook. Because I feel like we're already learning the NFL playbook right now. So well, tell us your story this year. Like, how did you, how did the season go for you? You didn't start, you weren't starting in the beginning, right? No, no, I wasn't. Um, actually, you know, um, I wasn't starting in the beginning, you know, and then I got it my, a chance to start my first game versus Colorado. And, you know, um, a lot of people on the, on the team, I would say they were kind of, you know, nervous, you know, like, oh, this is Jerry's first start, but, you know, I feel I performed pretty good. And then, you know, as the, you know, each game went on and it progressed, I just felt like I got more comfortable at the spot. And, um, you know, I felt as if people, you know, they were starting to feel confident in me, like, okay, you know, Jerry can play. So, yeah, that's that's how the season progressed. Um, it's sad that I got hurt watching the state game. You know, I really want to play that ASU game. You know, that's kind of like a rivalry game. That's the the, the game you, you mark on your, your calendars, no matter where you're from. So, but, you know, I felt as if the season went pretty good for me. Yeah, Jerry. Well, yeah, go ahead, hey, Jerry. 
um how how is your leg it's getting better you know um I'm about a week and a half from, you know, being able to, you know, walk in the pool. I'm still, I'm scooting around Tucson right now on the scooter. So that's oh, kind of, yeah. yeah, I got to pack the scooter up in my trunk and all this, all this stuff. It's a lot, but I'm, I'm making it, I'm making it work. So what are they saying as far as your um, complete recovery? How, how much more time do you have? Um, I, I'm, I have four months. It'll be four months total. You know, I'm hoping, you know, I'll be back for spring ball you know, if I don't make it back for spring ball, but I don't, I also don't want to rush anything either, you know, so it's kind of, oh, absolutely it's, not. It's, it's kind of up in the air. It basically just depends on, you know, my recovery and, and how, I'm, how I'm feeling at the moment. Well, I have to tell you that watching that Washington state game. And when you went down, I think you could hear Tucson gasp. It was, um, you were just <laughs> playing, playing some of your, game. yeah. I mean, you were <laughs> playing some of your best ball and, and you could, Feel the energy that you were bringing onto the field and and the momentum that was happening and then boom it just I I know I gasped but I and I know that you know, I'm I'm on Twitter all the time and and I usually you know tweet throughout all the games and I am telling you the, the almost every single person on Twitter was like no not Jerry don't let that be Jerry no um, because we just it was just one of those and the other part of it was just watching your teammates come over to you. Mm -hmm. um, you could feel the love and the brotherhood that that you guys have formed and that family mm -hmm. yep. um, and watching how they were reacting to you. And when they knew it was serious, um, you know, just the looks on their faces. How, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that, that family and that brotherhood that you formed because you just transferred in. Right. 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 So, so how, how did that all come about? You know, just that bond that you guys have have formed. You know, um, you know, that was that was kind of, you know, one of one of my biggest things as as me coming in as a transfer. You know, I mean, I, I, I want to make sure that I made bonds with my teammates early, you know, to basically, you know, and to to trust me. And because once you you build that trust and that brotherhood off the field, it's kind of going to click automatically when you're on the field. So, you know, I was when I got here immediately, I was coming, going to different teammates houses. We we're just playing a video game, you know, just basically doing stuff that you, you know, bond outside on, on the field, you know, and. I don't, I've been through a lot with these guys and they know a lot about me already. And it's only been, I only known them for a couple months. So yeah, I'm, I'm very thankful. It's a lot of them that's going to, you know, get invited to the wedding someday. Yeah, that's yeah, awesome. Love <laughs> I love it. Well, I was at the PAC 12 media days and Anthony Pandy was there and he, I mentioned you as a transfer coming in and he, his eyes just lit up. That's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> And so like every time I turn around, there's somebody saying something nice, you know, like I was mm -hmm. talking to the IMG Sports Network um, field, the, Dale, I think his name is, and I asked him, like, who are the leaders down there? Like, I know what everybody thinks they see, but what do you see? He goes, oh, on defense is Jerry. Jerry's always hyping everybody up. He's always, he's the leader. When people are down, he gets them going. Now, being one in 11, that must have been a lot of... <laughs> what a work doing that tell us a little bit about that that experience you know, you know it, it it definitely definitely was a, a lot of work because you know one in 11 that's, that's definitely hard to go on but you know a lot of us you know we I, I tried to focus on you know the, the bigger the bigger picture and coach fish kind of told us you know like this is this is the foundation and this is like what's going to going to really start so you know I kind of I bought into what he was saying and I kind of ran with it like hey fellas let's go we we're doing this for a reason no matter what the outcome is, we just know weekend, every practice that we're just going to continue to get better and better and, and it's going to pay off in the future. It might not show this season, but it'll show next season or a year after that or not. But we just we just keep doing the groundwork. And as long as we know that we're getting better every day, it might not show up on Saturdays. It, 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 that's just a, the unfortunate situation of uh, us as an entire team. We know that we're getting better every every game, every practice. So it was definitely good. And Coach, so, what, what does it feel like to see your son excel like this? Um, it, it's it's mind blowing. Is I, I sometimes I still gotta pinch myself to see if it's real. You know what I mean? And uh, especially the game that uh, when he got hurt, it's almost like when you're far away from your kid, you can always sense that something's wrong and. We normally have a tradition where he'll call me 15 minutes before they take the field and we'll pray on the phone. And 
I saw that I had some missed calls. So I'm like, man, I missed the phone call. And then I'm trying to call back. And that's when I called my twin brother. And he said that he just got hurt on the first play. And I'm to the point now, I don't even want to coach high school football games at the same time as he's playing. is because <laughs> this happened when he was at Bowling Green. I was coaching the game. And uh, he had Wait, just a minute. Do y'all see this now? People. Yeah. Brotherhood here. Look who's here. What's up, guys? <laughs> You're going to sit in on this? Why not? <laughs> yeah, I just got home. He's at, he's at my house right now. Oh, yeah. I see. <laughs> well, welcome. So, <laughs> I'll be right here on the couch. <laughs> okay, we'll get your commentary. We, yeah, we like hecklers. Hecklers are good. You can heckle from the from the background. <laughs> My bad, Dad. Oh no, that's that's okay. That's okay. I understand. But um, I was just saying um, I last year when he was playing at Bowling Green, uh, I was in the middle of coaching a high school game, and he had blasted the running back from Toledo, and he hit this running back so hard till he knocked himself out. So oh. then this happened. I told him, I said, next year, if you got a game the same time we play, and I refuse to coach because you're not getting hurt again. So it's kind of scary, but it's just, it's, I'm, I'm, I'm proud at the same time. And just to know that his little brother is coming up next in the ranks and he's working hard to get there. So tell us, is there a similarities between Jerry and Jairi or are they yeah. totally different people? They both hate to lose. And if you challenge them, they're going to do whatever it takes to uh, not lose that challenge. And the only difference I would say is, is Jairi's more on the quiet side. He reminds me of Nick Chubb. He can score a game-winning touchdown, game-winning tackle with like three seconds left in the game on a buzz or what have you. And you won't get much of a reaction. He, he channels a lot inside. He, he's a little more shy and on the reserve side, but... Once he, he steps on the field and he straps that helmet on, he brings a lot of noise. Sorry. Yeah. Is he still in there? Yep. Yeah, I'm right here. Hey, um, thank you for coming into the end zone that uh, that game uh, that we won. That was amazing. That was me that you came yeah. and, and said hey to. And oh, yeah, I, of course. Yeah, and I, um, and I filmed it. And I'm telling you what, there has been so many hits on that. It's crazy. Everybody just loves you. And just the fact that you took the time to come into the end zone um, with all of us lo low, low liars over there <laughs> <laughs> to say, hey, um, that was really cool. And just Number 10, number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Number 10. Yeah, I just like to thank you guys just because like that's just like you guys are there every game. Like I see I see everybody down there every game. Like you like yep. that's the, that's like the section that doesn't change other than the it season. doesn't, you're like, right. Like that's like the section that's always the same amount of people, the same people, like the same, same spots of people. So I just know like like that's just like it wasn't even a thought. I don't, like it. I, I just walked over there. <laughs> so it was just, I just, you know, I you know, it's funny because we've had, I, we have had, we had season tickets. Gosh, my daughter's nineteen, almost twenty now, and um, I think she was four when we started going to Arizona games, um, and had season tickets in the old family zone. I don't know if you were old enough to remember that, Jamari, I'm before sure. they redid that, the the stadium. The, the yeah. Side? Yeah, it's yeah. actually no, it's where the it's where the press box is uh, not the press box, it's the um Sands Club and everything is now. Oh yeah, they used to be the bleachers. They used to be bleachers. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I do remember yeah, that. We used to have so we had um we had season tickets there and then they did the remodel and they moved us over to where the visitors section is in that one corner. Um yeah. uh, by the south end zone, and then we got tickets in the south end zone, and so that's where we've had our tickets from then forward. So um, I, I'm a Seahawks fan. 
So I like to say that I stick with my teams through good, through bad. Um, I remember when the Seahawks were just horrible and like people were wearing like paper bags over their heads. <laughs> because they didn't want to say that. Well, the Rams just beat them. <laughs> and now look at them, right? You know, look yeah. at, look, I mean, they're not this year, but you know, they're, they're good again. And, um, right. but you know, I, we've, we've kept loyal through this whole time. And uh, I think my daughter only knows um, Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's all again, she knows. I, I, think, I think just right now, it's just for us, like, as a football team, it's just us, like, building. And it's important for, our, like, our, our, our sports people, our sports sp- spokespeople to, like, really, like, help boost our program. And, yeah. like, like, that we're all a family. Like, we're all repping the same colors. Like, we're all on the same team. I feel like some reporters lose that. So like oh, when it comes to like getting get in those like big recruits, like it's big for that. Like when I was in high school and I was coming up, like my mom can tell you, like she'll look at the reporters and see what they're saying, like what's actually being said. And like you don't want to go there. Like this is this is this isn't like a family. So it's just like we're just trying to build. So we're to get there. This this upcoming season is gonna be. It's going to be crazy. Well, gosh, 23, <laughs> you guys got, let's see, 23 early signees, mm-hmm. um, top 25 so far, you know, without the, the in, in February signing. But right now you're in the top 25 nationally on the signing class and number mm-hmm. two in the Pac-12. I mean, how big is that? That's big, real big. Since it, and especially, you know, with us getting uh, T-Mac, that's a, you know, that's a big boost for the program. Obviously, that made program history. So, you know, obviously, Coach Fish, he's, he's recruiting real good. And um, a lot of people, they're kind of wondering, you know, how is he doing it, even though we were 1-11, because, you know, like like Jamar said, like, this is a family, you know? So, and that's that's how we're getting these, these big recruits, because everything about Arizona is real, you know? So, that's that's really that's really how, how we're feeling and how the team's feeling about the um, this class, the, the, the Resigning so far. Yeah, I can I think tell that's you. Like the biggest thing because yeah. like, that family aspect is big for a lot of people. Is it like they're moving? These are seventeen-year-olds leaving their family. They want to feel like they're still at home. Right. College. So like, like it's 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 super big for that family aspect, and I don't think a lot of coaches understand that. But yeah, Coach Fish yeah. really really makes sure that's that's here. Mm-hmm. You know, well, it's been, funny because for six years now writing about the Wildcats through coaches, through players. And I'm just not the TMZ person. I'm not looking, I could get a lot more views, but it's all about the athletes for, for Lori and I, the athletes, the coaches, the program. We're not out here to try to make anybody look bad. You know, why would we do that? You know, for the referees. I'll make a referee look bad in a second. (laughs) Yeah, referees, they'd be all wrong. But yeah, I mean, and so it, you have to you have to tune out the haters or use it as fuel, right? right? So is that this did you guys talk about that as a team this year? Yeah, that was really big for our team is just because we have a lot of young kids and being young, you're gonna you're gonna really listen to the reporters, you're gonna feed into that, you're gonna see it. But a lot of the time when when the older the older kids or the older teammates would see that, I felt like we would we would be like, This is this is what they're saying, let's go prove it wrong. We know what we're capable of. Let's go out there and prove it wrong. So it wasn't anything but fuel to our fire. So mm-hmm. it wasn't it didn't it didn't hurt us at all. I felt like it just did nothing but motivate us. But just like the it just the only thing that really like hurt us was when we'll see our own reporters or something like oh, this happened, oh, like, you're not supposed to, like, do that, like, it doesn't make, it doesn't make the players feel like Tucson is behind them, and then, I can tell you with this new signing class, the the reporters make Tucson, that's, like, that's how we see it, like, you guys speak for Tucson, so, right, that's, like, that's what we see, like, you guys are always positive, that's why I like you guys, I like, like, you guys are my favorite, and my shit, like, (laughs) It's just like it's like you guys are genuine. So it's just like when other reporters are saying negative things, it's like you guys are speaking for Tucson. So that's yeah, what I agree. I agree. 
Well, well I can tell you that um, that I, you know, because again, I'm on Twitter all the time. I swear to God, I don't have a job, but I do. But <laughs> I'm on Twitter all the time. <laughs> but um, don't tell my work that though. Um, although I just quit, so it doesn't really matter. Um, but <laughs> but I can tell you that after this signing class um, just you know came about, the the biggest naysayers that that I see on Twitter there was there was a there was a change there was a tone change and yeah. hopefully hopefully that tone change continues um you know through through spring ball and into the season because i'm telling you i i agree with you um yeah, you know like the, i like i wanted to call them out so bad you know I and know. i did a couple times you know i, yeah. I was gonna say i did I got the, the and tone taste. change, like they don't, they don't need to, they don't need to change their tone. Like they could just stay where they are. Like we we're, we're good. Like we're, we're gonna be who we are. Like you don't need to support us now. So like it's just like if they're gonna be that way. They could be they that can way. Continue. Yeah. yeah don't get on the bus, right? Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Don't hop on the bus. <laughs> that's, that's exactly don't hop on the bus. Yeah. So it's yeah. like a lot of the time, like when people watch the game and they get upset, it's not they don't understand what's going on. Like maybe the coach told them to do that or like, right. it's just it's different things. So a lot of, all the times it's not, it's not what it is. Right. Well, so we have the interceptions, especially on yeah. interceptions. There's always two yeah. people that need to, to work together, right? It's not always the quarterback. The receiver has to be in the right place, you know? Exactly. Hey, Jairie, are you back with us? Yeah, I'm back. Yahoo! I see, I see you. <laughs> okay, so where were we? I was, you had a lot of weights on your bench press. Oh, my max. Um, I think I can hit like 315 wow. if I'm maxing. How old I can are you? Rep like, huh? How old are you? In his blood, bro. In his blood. Jamari don't believe you. He's in it telling tell you cut different, bro. It's on my Twitter. Show my Twitter. See Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> what position do you want to play, or does it matter? You just want to play football. No, it don't matter. Wherever, whoever paid for my scholarship, I'm willing to play linebacker, running back. I don't really care. So you're an athlete. Are you going to classify as an athlete then? Uh, yeah, most likely. Most likely. That's the bigger? smartest thing to do. Yeah, what yeah, do you the love biggest about the thing game? for you is important is being that athlete. Stay that athlete. Like being that athlete is the, the biggest tool in your toolkit. So choose wherever is gonna like expose that the most. Because mm -hmm. I like when I came, when I was coming in, like you, you know, I was like, I'm gonna be a quarterback. I'm a quarterback. But you gotta really focus on what your talent is, and your talent is that you can play multiple positions. So focus on that, and you'll go a long way. I promise. Not Thanks. many people play quarterback and wide receiver in the same game. I think Jamar is one of the only college players. <laughs> <laughs> quarterback and wide receiver in the same game. And I want you to know, Jerry, that when, I, when I'm in the booth, my job is to point who did the tackling. Oh, so really? I, yeah. So I point out – I go. have to watch the play, and I point out who did the tackling, and, and um, it's always Jerry. Jerry, Jerry again. <laughs> but I can't say anything because you have to be silent. So Brian and Lamont do all the talking, but I like, I'm like, so I was pointing to you a lot, you know, you, yeah, you wherever you. the ball was, Jerry Roberts was there. I saw that. I had to, I, I, I got to run to the ball. That's, that's one thing I, I, I always been good at, you know, and I, that's what, what helped me throughout my, uh, my high school career and in, uh, in college, you know, I've always been known as a, a sideline to sideline linebacker. I'm covering the whole field. So I, I love well, it. I love it. <laughs> now, what did you take away from Don Brown? The one thing you're going to remember, like the, the biggest thing you're going to remember from playing for him. Hmm. Is there a saying or something technical? Oh yeah. There's, there's, a, there's a saying, you know, um, he says, solve your, solve your problems with aggression. You know, if you got a problem out there on that field, be aggressive. You know, if you if you if you make a mistake, make an aggressive mistake. Whatever you do, 
just be aggressive. Any any problems you got out there, ag- aggression. That's it. That's the number one thing he preaches. He preaches. He wants us to be aggressive, and that's that's one thing. You know, I kind of I kind of learned from him. You know, as far as you know, being a linebacker, you know, shooting my gap, even though it's it's not a design blitz or. If my gap's open, go down and shoot it. Go, you know, go take control of your gap, you know. So that's one thing I, I really learned from was solving, solving my problem with aggression. Well, that's great. And how about your alumni? Yeah. So um, what what do you prefer? Do you prefer <laughs> the defense or the offense? Or do you have a – do you do you care? Uh, I, don't, I don't really care. I kind of like running back because my brother can get tackle me, but he, he can't <laughs> tackle <laughs> Whoa. That was a shot right there. It I was, you know. I don't, I don't want to, you know, I don't want to, you know, hurt his feelings because he's still young. So I want to, I want to let him keep that mindset that he can do that. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. So Jairi, you have, Jairi, you have a really good story. And I think that, um, that it needs to be told. Um, you've really overcome some yeah. adversity and and football's kind of been the thing that has like kept you grounded hasn't it yeah like football is like therapy well like, you you take all your problems out on the field yeah so you want to tell i mean I, if they haven't heard your story do you want to tell a little bit about you know what 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 you've been through in the last few years and how football has helped and and your dad's support and your brother's support yeah, so uh, I was 13, I believe. My mom died of cancer. I was in seventh grade. And then two years later, her brother, which is my uncle, uh, died. And they both were 36 when they died. So that's why I wear 36. Wow. That's so, great. So you were 36 in their memory. That's amazing. Yeah, so my eighth grade year, I kind of fell into like a depression where I didn't really do nothing. And then freshman year, my dad always told me, uh, don't stress over freshman ball because it's cute. But next year, you're really going to be able to get your fair shot because freshman year, I don't, I don't feel like I was given a fair shot. So my whole, the whole off season going into my sophomore year, I was with Jerry every day at like prep field. I was with Jovan Johnson, Norman, Steve Spearman, a lot of trainers. And then I came back and at first I wasn't going to start varsity, but the linebacker who was in front of me got hurt the very first quarter, so I had to step up, and I started the rest of the year as a sophomore, and it was like, wow, because, like, I didn't ever think this was going to happen, and it was like everything was so fast I had to catch up, but by, like, the fifth game, I kind of got used to it, so it was normal, and then my junior year, it, it went pretty good, and then, like, ever since then, I've just been using football as, like, like my escape from, my like pain. Like, anytime I got a problem, I feel like if I'm on the field or I'm at the gym, I don't have no worries. So, like, that's one of the places I love being. So it's your therapy kind of, huh? Yeah. Yeah, that's – I mean, honestly, that's the best thing. They always say that um, when you face adversity to find your, your outlet and something that you love – and then focus on that. And I think you've done a really good job of that. I watched the video that you um, that you posted uh, that has some of your your highlights in it and a little bit of your story. And that that was a great video. Who put that together for you? Oh, it's just some dude from my um, town. He actually went to my the same high school I go to right now. His name Amory. You can go check out his Twitter. He make all type of videos. He he nice with the camera. Yeah, he did a great job. It was um, really. Um, it it was really really well done, very well done. Definitely done, definitely. Yeah. So, uh, Jerry, we're really excited you're coming back. Yeah, I'm you know, so excited. Um, that was that was a that was a big thing for me. You know, when I uh, when I went into the transfer portal, and uh, you know me, I I want to make sure that you know I still did you know two years of my you know my eligibility. Uh huh. That's great. So- so can you put a bionic leg on so that doesn't so you don't hurt yourself again, please? <laughs> Man, I, I wish I could I have a bionic body. There you go. <laughs> it was such a freak accident though, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, it definitely was. It was and you know the, the thing is, 
I, I, I was kind of, I kind of I watched film and I was watching. And I was like, man, was there something I could have did to avoid that, or was it something I could have did to, you know do better? And I was watching. I was like, there's literally, it literally was a freak action. I was engaged on my block. And then my teammate, he, you know, he's just making the tackle. And obviously I can't see because he's behind me. He makes the tackle and he he throws him into the back of my leg. And I was like, oh man. As soon as it happened, I was like, I was like, well, that's it for the season. Yeah. <laughs> you knew right away. Yeah, I knew they right away. They can't blame the other losses on you because you weren't playing. So yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 there's always there's always a way to look for the the cup to be half full right the glass to right be right full. right <laughs> so coach um coach jerry um tell us a little bit about the kids growing up um you know when did you start did when did they start practicing football when did football become part of their lives was it right away or or was it something that came in a little later it st- I started jerry when he was six but I didn't know if he was aggressive enough. So I started off in uh, wrestling as a wrestler. And um, I lied on the work and said that he was uh, six years old, but he was big. So he was only four. And he went out there in his first wrestling match as a four-year-old and beat a six-year-old. And when I saw his aggression and his, uh, how physical he was, it was on from there. I knew he was going to be a football player. So I started him at six years old. He probably played uh, from his age six to twelve. He may have lost. Him. He went undefeated all the way through high school. He never even lost a game. Maybe one game, and then when he got to high school, I think his four years there, he lost one game. So he's not used to losing, but he's gonna he's, he's gonna give it all he has if they are losing. He won a um he won a wrestling match with a broken hand out there. Yes, he did. That is true. He um broke thumb in the middle of the match for a first place match and uh he did win that match as well so you must have a high tolerance for pain i would say yes and no it just depends on the the, the injury this we well, you know with my leg that was you know my teammates they kind of make fun of me for it because <laughs> i was screaming like at the top of my lungs <laughs> well a broken leg isn't it's like you can hear it can't you yeah, yeah. So I was. I told him I was like it, it was. I had a good reason to be yelling that loud because I told him, <laughs> I told him really the screams that was the replace for my tears. So I didn't cry. Right. I just yelled. There you go. <laughs> like a real man. Yeah, I said I, instead of me crying, I'll just yell at the top of my lungs. Crying. Well, it wasn't like a girl <laughs> yell, was it? <laughs> no, no, no. It was high pitched. No, 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 no. It was high pitched. No, 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 no. Sorry. <laughs> You can hear right it on the there. sidelines, Jamari. I was right there. <laughs> I seen the whole thing. You sound like Mariah Carey out there. You hear? <laughs> he said Mariah Carey. Well, I don't know. When I watch the sidelines, I see Jamari all over the place, like yeah. full of energy, like jumping, you know? Yeah. <laughs> he definitely is. So, he like, I was, I mean, you missed it, but I was telling, um, I was telling everybody about how Dale. Uh, from IMG Sports Network was saying the two leaders on the field, offense and defense, are Jerry and Jamari. That's who he said. Those are the guys who are positive. And it's so funny that you would just pop into this interview. <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. That was crazy. Yeah, next season it's going to be crazy. It's going to be a movie, literally. Yeah. Well, I can't wait. I can't wait to watch. And and what I really can't wait to watch is for Arizona to wake up and uh, and give Jairi uh, an offer. <laughs> yeah. It's going gonna, gonna to happen. I feel like it's going to happen, you know. I got I to gotta keep, you know, I got I to, gotta, you know, Coach Brown's not here no more. So, you know, now I got to talk to Coach Nancy for the linebacker spot and then yeah. Coach Brown for running back. So whoever, whoever won't even. Yeah, well, um, both my daughters went to the U of A, and it's, they weren't on the same football team. They were in the same sorority, but five years oh, wow. apart. And um, <laughs> I know it's I know it's not the same thing, but it really was special for them to have the same the same school, same sorority together for events, and and they lived. They've just bought a condo together. So, brotherhood, <laughs> sisterhoods, it's very important, and and it really. Uh, I, I can see where it would really help, you know, having your big brother there 
to, to mend you and look out for you and like who wouldn't want that right <laughs> it would be just like the, the the brothers on the team i believe the harris brothers yeah yep yeah. so you know hey, coach coach bram coach Hanson, one of y'all come get him man be ready Oh, we'll make Jerry. sure that we tag him. <laughs> yeah. Coach Jerry, between yes. you and the Harris and Harris's mom, mom and uh, now coming in uh, Fifida, Fifida, I got to say it right. It's Fifida. It's mm -hmm. uh, Noah corrected it, corrected me. Um, anyway, this year we have a lot of really strong parents, are very supportive on the internet, and I think that's going to help overall with. Um, with all the fans. I mean, you got to see athletes as human beings. I don't care what anybody says. They're human beings, <laughs> like your son. Like I, I treat you guys like you're my kids. Like I care about you, not, it, I just don't, I'm, I don't know. I know we talked about this, but mm. um, yeah. <laughs> well, I can tell you that for me, it's, it's, you know, I can handle a one in 11 season as a, you know, if I take myself out of the, the, the reporter media person um, spotlight and just as a fan, I, I can, I can totally deal with a one in 11 season as long as the, you know, that all of the team is learning and growing and, and you see change and you see the, the culture in the program changing. Um, and I think that's where some fans can't or don't seem to be able to disconnect themselves. Um, it's all about, you know, the wins and losses, wins and losses. No, it's not. You know, part of college football as well as high school football is, is growing growing the person, you know, making them a better person um, so that when you go out in the world, because as we all know, not, not everybody gets that, you know, chance at the NFL. So once, once you're done with that college career, you know, what's the next step? Well, that's, that's where sports come in. You know, they, they train you up. They, they build that culture and they build that um, mentality of, of winners um, whether, whether the scoreboard says a loss or not, you know, you each have to evaluate yourselves and maybe your team won, but you had a heck of a game. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's a team sport and the team lost, but you as an individual, you know, you won that game because you did your best. And that's kind of how life is, right? Yeah. Four agreements. <laughs> you read that book. One of the things is always do your best. The only thing that not, I'll, I'll be a little teeny bit critical was the, the penalties. Like somebody needs to count players. I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, the penalties. I'll do it. Player. I will be the person who counts players. <laughs> <laughs> I volunteer. <laughs> penalties definitely hurt. <laughs> That's just a simple thing, you know? Yeah, yep, yep. Anyway. <laughs> I, you know, I'm all rosy, but that's the one thing that did get on my, my yeah. <laughs> And every time I started counting all the players, I'm like, okay, they're good. <laughs> I like that. I um, to hey, hey, Jay Ree. Yeah. So you're going into your senior year, right? Yeah. What's the team look like? I, I think we're going to be good. Like, we came, we coming off a, a big loss to a good team. So I think it kind of like humbled everybody and motivated them. We like, we kind of was like, our team was kind of cocky because they thought that like, cause our, our school is known for always going to States from the time my brother was there until like, currently we've been to States every year for like six years in a row. So I kind of think that people was thinking Oh, just because we go here, we're going to make it. And they didn't want it as bad. But now that they see, you got to put in the work that they put in in 2016 and 2017. Now I think that we like clicking. I feel like we're going to have a good season. Good. And are you going to do um, both sides of the ball? Are you going to do defense on offense next year? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Good. Because I watched the highlights from both um, you playing linebacker and then also running back. Are you a running back or a fullback? 
Running back. Running back. So yeah. <laughs> we've got the invisible Jerry we have going the on. Invisible right now. wildcat there. <laughs> Can you hear it? You can hear the, the cat showed noise. up for that. <laughs> the cat was I'm sorry. even gone. <laughs> sorry about that, Jerry. Um, that was it. there was noise in the background, so the camera flashed to where Jerry was sitting, and then he wasn't there. So, <laughs> um, so, so you you play running back, Jerry, right? Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, I'm excited to see some uh, some highlights from this year. I think that with all your work in the in the weight room um, and with all the trainers, uh, I just I just see great things ahead for you. And um, and hopefully that Arizona offer comes in because you know maybe Jerry won't be there when you when you get there, you know. But um, the people he's come in contact with on the team will be. So you're going to have all kinds of big brothers if that happens. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and keep that social media going. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> and then, um, J uh, Jerry, is there anything you want to talk about? Like you're looking for, for some sponsorship, some NIL deals, right? Yeah, I'm, you know, I'm open to, you know, any NIL deals. There's nothing in particular that I'm, anything, I'm open to do anything, you know, ads, advertising, uh, Twitter shout outs, anything. Like you, you name it, I'll do it. So I, I have no preference right now, but I'm just open to anything. Okay. So if anyone needs an NI, anyone looking for an athlete to, you know, sponsor, I'm hopefully I'm I'm your guy. <laughs> <laughs> well, you've got the personality for it, that's for sure. Well, I think that honestly, I think you and your dad should get one together so that your dad can replay that whole uh, Uber drive and and, oh, um, and I'm I'm telling you I'm telling you people started. are Don't get I know, people are, people are gonna people are gonna get on to that uh, that humor. Uh, <laughs> Jerry, you, What's you, that? Jerry, what kind hey, of Jerry hates not get a lot of publicity. I keep telling him I'm famous. I was famous <laughs> with that full screen. You know yeah. now I traveled three six hours with the car to get to the West Coast. I'm known from the east to the west. So what? I say, I mean, he's a little jealous that, that I got a little more, you know. Uh, Ooh, dad's out shining you, Jerry. Your dad's <laughs> you see this? Yeah. You see this? <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is what people on Twitter have done. <laughs> I, have a, I have a feeling this is why Jerry's so quiet. <laughs> <laughs> you got to deal with this. Yeah, it's a matter of time, but Jerry gets happy. He's, he's noisy, especially when he's picking on his sister. He that's when he's really noisy. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, any final thoughts? Let's go. Let's do round table. Coach, you want to go first? Uh, my final thoughts are I, at um, uh, Coach Fish. They have a great coaching staff. They're on the right path. They're doing a great job recruiting. Um, we'll talk a lot of about the Arizona Wildcats football team, but they just don't know what they're in for next year. So I'm a rock boy. So a Wildcat and Wildcat parent, bear down. Bear right. down. Uh. Jairi, you want to go next? Yeah, I don't really got too much to say. I hope um, Arizona offered me. And lastly, Jerry can't tackle me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, that's crazy. I think Jerry. we should begin. I think we should begin and end the whole video on that. Yeah. <laughs> Jerry, you no comeback. No comeback. Just end. <laughs> that's funny, but uh, you have any fi final thoughts? A message to Wildcat fans. You know, um, you know, we just wanna. I just wanna thank you guys. You know, for you know, rocking with us for so long. You know, keep supporting us. Keep coming to the games. We we really need your support. You know, I don't I don't know if you guys know it or not, but it really it really helps us a lot. You know, we make big plays and we look in the fans and then we just hear the the stadium and it, and it's just a, a good thing. So you know, Wildcat fans keep supporting us. Uh, you we we gonna guarantee we go out there every weekend and and give you guys a hundred percent. And we can we can definitely guarantee that that things are gonna turn around and we're not gonna go one and eleven again. So you know, we we're excited. We're excited for what the future holds for us. And uh, bear down. Let's do it. Go Cats. Go Cats. <laughs> well, we thank you. It was, it was a lot of fun. And uh, let's do this again soon.
<laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, guys. Hey, Bye. thank you so much. Bear down, thank guys. You. Thank you. All right, thank Bye. you. Bye-bye. Families. If you wanna find me, yeah, I'm in the front row Got my two tickets, on me, I'm in the front row The best place to be, yeah, I'm in the front row Best place uh -huh. to be, yeah If you wanna find me, yo, I'm in the front row Got my two tickets, on me, I'm in the front row The best place to be, yeah, I'm in the front row Best place uh -huh. to be, yeah. uh -huh. So what's colder than ice and even hotter than a flame I be in the front row